Hello, I'm Jim Mines out here at the Plateau Research and Education Center and we're going to talk about rose diseases today. We have a huge rose trial out here at the Plateau. Uh, we've got about seven or eight hundred rose bushes out here and it's open anytime the sun's up so feel free to come out. I do, I've been doing rose trials out here since 2005. We've gone through almost 450 cultivars. What we do out here is we're just looking for disease resistant cultivars. We're looking for things, we take the roses that the companies say are disease resistant or carefree and we put them out here and we find out. Now the main diseases, we're going to focus on the diseases that these things have, the diseases you'll see at home and around on your roses. The Two main... primary diseases and one kind of relatively new disease, we'll talk about that last. The main disease that you're going to encounter when you're growing roses at home is a disease called black spot. And if you've ever grown roses, you've probably encountered this one. It's the one that makes the uh, leaves turn yellow from the ground up and fall off. It'll completely defoliate a susceptible plant. And it has a kind of a circular, a round circular lesion with a feathered edge that doesn't go all the way through the leaf. So if you turn that leaf over, you won't see that lesion on the back side except as a shadow. A black spot, that's what this, this bush right here has, these nice circular lesions all over. And most roses, I would say the vast majority of the roses, if you're growing for a color or a big pretty flower, everything you've ever gotten as a cut flower at a florist is a, completely susceptible to black spot. The other disease is a disease that's really kind of relatively new because with the introduction of cultivars like uh, knockout or double knock, this is a double knockout here next to me, which is resistant to black spot, it's, but it is susceptible to a disease called cercospora leaf spot, which is very similar with some exceptions. The easiest way to tell the difference is to turn that leaf over. And if you'll, you'll see the cercospora lesions will go all the way through the leaf. All right, I have in my hands the two main culprits for your roses looking poor at home. This one in my left hand is black spot. If you, look, if you can look closely, the edges of these circular black lesions will have kind of a feathered edge. It won't be a nice sharp line, which is different than the cercospora, which will always have a nice crisp edge to those lesions. Now, if you turn the leaves over, these cercospora lesions go all the way through. You know, they'll, they'll have a dark dead spot on the bottom of the leaf. The black spot lesions will not. That's the easiest way to tell those two apart. Now, it doesn't really matter, except as an academic interest, because the treatment for these is exactly the same. You're just going to have to spray a fungicide once a week through the entire growing season to combat both of these diseases. But most of the cultivars which are resistant to black spot are susceptible to cercospora. So we select for both of them and we have a, a list of roses that are good for it. To be on the list, it has to be good every single year in every single location to every single disease. All right, and we have this exact same trial replicated out in West Tennessee, so it's all the way across Tennessee. Everything has to be good everywhere, every single time, every year. The last disease that uh, is, a, again, it's not a new disease, but it's a disease that is definitely picking up is a viral disease called Rose Rosette Virus. You'll see this uh, wild rampant growth, these big pom-poms, the ugly foliage or different foliage, and knockout seems to be a, you see it a lot on knockouts, and particularly in commercial plantings and things like that. We've got some of that out here as well. I'm standing here next to a rose called Carefree Celebration, and this rose has a viral disease. Roses and plants and everything can get viruses and, and bacteria, but this is a viral disease called Rose Rosette Virus. And there's no, there's no cure for this disease. The only thing you can do is uh, try to remove this foliage and or remove the whole plant. The way you'll tell this is you see it has these big huge pom-poms of growth which so is completely different than the uh, nice long healthy growth, non-symptomatic growth over there. The problem with this disease is this foliage will never mature. It will never harden off. It will never get bigger. So this all died when it got hot so because it had never matured. One of the diagnostic ways to tell is you get all this rampant growth so if you can get in and see you'll have this huge stem coming off of what's relatively a tiny cane because it's all of this symptomatic diseased growth. You can try to get in and, and cut that off. If it gets down into the crown, down into the very bottom of the plant, then you'll just have to, you will have no other choice but to remove the entire plant. Shovel prune is what the, the rose people call it, which I, th I really enjoy. This is a, a rose bush called Pink Drift, and this one is uh, strongly susceptible to that second disease I mentioned, Cercospora leaf spot. It'll get these almost leopard, a, a severe infection, you'll get these leopard looking leaves. They'll have 
The foliage will be completely covered in lesions and you'll notice a lot of defoliation. You can see a lot of stems. On a plant that you've sprayed, you shouldn't be able, on this particular type of rose, you shouldn't be able to see any of those stems at all. It just ought to be a solid mass of nice, pretty foliage. The older, the older lesions will begin to get a khaki center as that dead tissue rots out. But the newer ones will just have a, just a nice dark lesion on the top of it. All right, this is a rose called Winter Sunset. This is a rose which is strongly susceptible to black spot, that first disease I mentioned. You'll, the most notable thing, you'll know, the easiest way to tell a rose is strongly susceptible to black spot is that it doesn't have any leaves. The black spot knocks almost all the foliage off. The biggest problem with that is you get reduced flower size because the plant can't produce enough energy to keep up. You also, the plant will die because it can't store enough, winter, enough energy for the winter time. The leaves will fall off from the bottom up until you end up with just big sticks like this. Like you'll still get new growth, but to combat this and Cercosper, you're gonna to have to spray a fungicide once a week the entire growing season. Right. Thanks for joining us, I'm Jim Mines. Please come out and visit the roses anytime the sun's up and please visit the Plateau Discovery Gardens as well. They're open as well anytime the sun's up and they'd love to have you. Thank you, goodbye.